the simple things that we just don't understand in a game that I want you to realize that we're running base uh, 10 personnel. Here's what I'm going to call it, just due to the fact that Brock's really a receiver here, not in a tight end situation. And we're trying to convert our third and short here. And I want you to understand, this is a two-receiver progression the entire time. We're on the left hash, and we know what we want to do. What basically Beck does is he plays the games with this apex defender right here. See the one that's in zone sitting right on the SEC logo? He knows where he wants to go with the football. He's got leverage with the inside backer and with the safety on the hash because he knows Brock and both Rosemary Jack Sane are making outcuts. I call this Maryland when you both have outcuts to the outside. So this is Maryland left, just like I call Carolina for the uh, smash concept. So Maryland left right here. So what he does, I want you to just watch his helmet. See how his helmet's looking right at that apex defender? So what does that make that guy do? It makes him widen and pulls him away from where he wants to throw. And at the last second, he knows he's going to Brock. He knows he's going to Brock. Bam, now he throws it, and it's on a dime. Goes through a mailbox and delivered between three people to convert the first down. And guys, I just can't tell you how special that is. Because... If he's looking at Brock the entire time like some quarterbacks will, that apex defender sits inside and possibly makes a pick or gets a hand on it or lessens the window of the throw of the throw window, excuse me. But because he knows he's got double outs right here, he can look that apex defender off and go back to Brock, and it's an easier throw and catch. So just a very simplistic concept, but yet still so very effective. Carson Beckman is spinning the football and doing a great job. I would love to see him start getting into some Heisman talk a little bit more.